My weird school. Fast facts. Dogs, cats, and dung beetles. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter two. Cats. You think dogs are the most popular pet in America? Well, you're wrong. We have seventy-four million dogs and eighty-eight million cats. So na 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 boo boo on dogs. Cats are like superheroes. They can jump up to six times their length. They can hear sounds up to two octaves higher than a human. They can fit through an opening the size of their head. They can drink sea water to survive. Did you ever hear that cats always land on their feet? Well, it's true. They have a riding reflex that's controlled by the eyes and balance organs in their inner ears. In the nineteen seventies. A cat named Andy fell from the sixteenth floor of an apartment building and survived. Andy was owned by Florida Senator Ken Meyer. In two thousand thirteen, a cat named Morris ran for mayor of Jalapa, Mexico. It shouldn't be a big surprise that he lost the election. What's surprising is that a cat named Stubbs. Was the mayor of Takina, Alaska, for fifteen years. Fat cat, the heaviest cat in the history of the world, was Hemi from Queensland, Australia. He weighed almost forty-seven pounds. That's a fat cat. No cat will ever beat Hemi, because the Guinness World Records got rid of this category. Get it? After Hemi died in nineteen eighty-six. They were afraid that people would overfeed their cats, trying to break the record. Skinny cat, the lightest cat ever, was a Blue Point Himalayan named Tinker Toy. He weighed just one pound and six ounces. He was less than three inches tall. Old cat, the oldest cat in the history of the world, was Crampa from Austin, Texas. She died in two thousand and five. Three days after her thirty-eighth birthday, rich cat, the richest cat ever, was named Blackie. His owner was British antique dealer Ben Ree. When Ree died in nineteen eighty-eight, Blackie inherited thirteen million dollars. Tired cats, seventy percent of their lives, cats are sleeping. So a nine-year-old cat has only been awake for three years. Cats sort of look like spies, always slinking around and acting mysteriously. Well, in the nineteen sixties, the CIA tried to turn a cat into a real spy by implanting a microphone in its ear canal and a radio transmitter in its chest. Sadly, on its first spy mission, it got hit by a taxi and died. Female cats are usually right-handed. I mean, right pod. Male cats are usually left pod. Cats have three hundred million neurons in their cerebral cortex. That's the part of the brain that controls information processing. Dogs only have a hundred and sixty million. Does this mean that cats are nearly twice as smart as dogs? Cats would definitely say so. That is, if they could talk. That reminds me, cats can make over a hundred sounds. Dogs can only make ten. A cat's heart beats nearly twice as fast as ours, about one hundred forty to two hundred twenty beats per minute. The ancient Egyptians loved cats, and they even worshipped a cat goddess named Bastet. In 1888, a farmer in Egypt found a tomb filled with 80,000 cat mummies. When cats died in ancient Egypt, family members would mourn by shaving off their eyebrows. Wait, what? Why would they shave off the cat's eyebrows? 
the ancient Egyptians were weird. No, dumb head. They'd shave off their own eyebrows. Cats don't even have eyebrows. Why would they shave off their own eyebrows just because their cat died? How should I know? I thought you knew everything. Famous inventor Nikola Tesla decided to do experiments with electricity. After he observed static electricity on the fur of his cat, macaque. You know how they say it's bad luck when a black cat crosses your path? Well, in England and Australia, black cats are considered to be good luck. Most cats have between one and nine kittens, but in 1970, a Burmese cat named Tardawood Antigone had 19 kittens. That's the record. Did you know that cats can't taste sugar? It's true. So don't bother putting sugar in their tea. Cats are really good at climbing up trees, but they're not so good at climbing down trees. That's because their claws curve toward the back. To get down a tree, a cat has to go backward. So if your cat gets stuck in a tree, now you know why. A cat's jaw can't move sideways. That's why they can't chew big pieces of food. Cats have fifty-three vertebrae. We humans only have thirty-four. Cats have eighteen toes. Well, most of them do anyway. There was this one cat named Jake from Ontario, Canada, who had twenty-eight toes. That's the most ever, according to Guinness World Records. But who's counting cat toes? Did you ever hear of a cat piano? It was supposed to be a musical instrument made out of cats. I kid you not. The Katzen Klavier is credited to a 17th-century German scholar named Athanasius Kircher. His idea was that he would find a bunch of cats that had different voice pitches. Then he wanted to put them in a row of cages and play his instrument by driving nails into the cats' tails. Okay, that guy had problems. Fortunately, his instrument was never actually built, as far as we know. Did you ever hear somebody say it's raining cats and dogs? That expression may have started. From an old poem by Jonathan Swift, describing how heavy rainstorms in England would cause deadly flooding in the streets, so it would look like it had actually rained cats and dogs. That's pretty depressing, Arlo. I think we should end this chapter with a happier fast fact. People love cat videos. In two thousand fifteen. Thirteen thousand people went to the Internet Cat Video Festival in Minnesota. One of the most popular cat videos ever is "Surprise the Kitty." I would tell you to watch it, but you probably already did. It's been viewed more than seventy-seven million times on YouTube.